click on record amazing okay friends very good evening to all of you my name is ramzan and today we are here to learn again a very very interesting topic in the excel that is your dynamic table okay if you work in excel then you should uh, then you should learn what is the concept of dynamic table so a small request friends i think you all should stop your video okay uh, so it will be good and we don't get distract uh, even i have uh, uh, stop my video so we all can focus only on the screen okay so this is the friends reason why you should convert your data into the dynamic table now you will ask ramzan yes what are the benefits you have shown us these are the benefits but what is dynamic table so without wasting time we will quickly jump to the topic most of you already know me those who don't know me i will share my facebook link i will share my uh, linkedin link with you and you can get introduced with me in that okay here we will only focus on the learning part so i am going to my first sheet that is the sheet name is visible cells sum and in first topic only you will be amazed that ramzan this is something very very interesting you are showing us okay so friends whatever data you are seeing on the screen okay this is the small simple data this is a raw data it means it is not a summary report just a raw data either you might have maintained or you might have downloaded from the from some of your server or from the internet this is your normal small sales data <clears throat> okay now i will show you something very interesting i am going in the end i am going on row number 50 and i am typing a total over here today you will come to know very interesting thing okay i have typed total now i if i tell you that i wanted to add all these numbers what you will do you will say ramzan i will type a sum formula so you will say equal sum open a bracket and you will select this entire range and you will get the total so this is the total correct this is one of the way those of you who work in excel regularly they will say no ramzan i will not type formula what i will do i have a simple option i will go to the home and here is my auto sum option i will click on auto sum and i will press enter so i will get a total i will not write formula because you know little bit more in excel and like my friend pragya is saying oh so pragya is saying no ramzan i will press alt equal so she has just put it in a chat message so yes prakriya i will say alt equal and you will get the total correct so there are three methods of doing it but this is not a tip i am going to show you this you already know i am here to show you something very different <clears throat> and now is the trick starting you have given this data to your manager okay so let's say and now your manager wants to see only the sales of dubai total sales of dubai so what you will do if you go to the data if your manager goes to the data and he clicks on this option filter remember this sales friend total 107500 okay 107500 is the sales total sales now if i click over here and if i say i want to see only dubai and if you say okay see what will happen you will still see the sales of all you will not see it should show only dubai sales right only this four sale this four sales is how much 20900 here you can see but your sum formula does not add the visible cell it has added all the hidden cells only so if i wanted to see only the sales of laptop i can't see so this is a problem with the sum formula that whenever you do the sum formula this happens so my friend another narayan is putting in a chat message that ramzan use the sub total formula very good narayan we can use a sub total formula over here but now i am going to show you without the formula without doing anything and that is the concept of the table so i have to just put my cursor inside the data and here you will press control t which i have already took in my first webinar those who have attended my first webinar they will agree but in this we will do in more detail okay 
So I will put my cursor and from the keyboard, I am pressing control T and I am pressing enter. After pressing control T, you will see your data has become table. Correct. After this friend, if you want a total in the last row that is on row number 14. So you will press one more shortcut control shift T. But what is the benefit? You will say Ramzan, I would have done alt equal and I get the answer here. You even did two step one. I did control T and then I did control shift T. So what is the benefit with control T? It become dynamic table. The color came with control shift T. I got a total, but the benefit is what you know, friends. Now you give this data to your management. Now, if they will tell you, Hey, Afzal, can you show me only the sales of laptop? So Afzal don't have to worry. He will come over here in a drop down and I will click on laptop and I say, okay, as soon as I say, okay, you will see this number will change. I say, okay, automatically it became hundred thousand. This is hundred thousand. Okay. Only the sales of laptop. Okay. You want to see, okay, how much sales happened? of laptop in Dubai. So I came over here and I took Dubai and I said, okay, wow. So 20,000 was the sales for Dubai for the product laptop. And again, if I come over here and I click again on, so you get the total. And again, if I come over here and click and say, okay, again, you get the total. So this is one of the very interesting benefit of converting your data into the table. So first step is what you will press control T to convert your data into table. Okay. This is the first step. Then after that, what you will do friends, you will press control shift T what it will do. It will add total in the end. Okay. This is a small tip which you should know. So this was a one benefit of converting your data into the table. Okay. So I took around seven minutes to explain this one thing to you. Now we will go to the next sheet and I will show you what is the another benefit. So here is the first reason which I have covered and why not I make it in gray color so that you know that, okay, we have completed this. Okay. So this first point is completed. Now I'm going on a second reason friends. When you add a new column, it takes format automatically. And we will also see the third points together table drags formula down automatically. So second and third reason we will take together. So now I am going on my another sheet, which is this sheet, sheet number two and three, and we will come two points over here. So what happens? I have a data over here with price and quantity. This is again a new point. I'm giving friends. I have not shown this point to you in my first webinar. That was a very different type of webinar. And here we are doing only one topic, but in detail. So here you are going to get something new. The second point friends, I come on this data. If you want to convert to the table, you know, the shortcut control T but you can also go to the insert and in insert tab again, you will get an option table. Okay. So go to the insert and again, I click on the table over here. Remember in insert, you have pivot table and I have table. So I click on the option table over here. So see, I'm clicking on table everybody. So this is another way if you don't want to use a shortcut. So I click on the table and my data has been converted in this. So, you know, but what is the new new is this when I come over here, there is a price, there is a quantity. And if you add total, you will see what will happen. As soon as I type total automatically colors will come. This formatting will come over here. You don't have to format. So I will type over here total. See, I'm pressing enter everybody enter and you will see the design has come. This is a second benefit that whenever you add any extra column, automatically color comes. But remember, if you give two, three rows column blank and if you type, you will not get this. You have to type very next without giving the gap. This was a second point. Now I'm coming on third point and I want your attention, which is a new point. 
and you have to understand this point how formula works i have 2500 is a price of a laptop and a user took three laptops okay now over here i want to add a formula normally what happens friends you tell me when you put a formula over here after putting formula what you do you have to come on the corner and you have to drag it correct now you see the magic of converting data into the table when you will put the formula automatically it will drag till down you don't have to do anything see and there will small change also when you say equal this is with cell this is h2 right but when i click on this h2 cell here it should come h2 but it will not take h2 it will take the name of the heading i will put multiply that is times we say this as times multiply multiply by g2 this is g2 but when i click on g2 it will not take g2 it will take the heading name i click on it and i am pressing enter see as soon as i press enter formula will come automatically in all the cells till down i press enter and a formula has been tracked this is the third benefit that whenever you type a formula and press enter it goes till end okay but in table what is saying prapul is saying please repeat once again okay prapul i will repeat narayan saying but in table automatic come in all cell i didn't understood narayan but in table automatically come in all cell are you trying to say formatting yes formatting comes in all the cells but it should be continuous munmadi rajesh singh please repeat okay i will repeat it once again but after that i will not repeat because i have to cover lots of topic so i request you to pay attention friends okay and we are recording so i will quickly repeat in one minute this was my data this was my normal blank data okay so what i said first step i come here and you say control t press enter that's all after that what i said i will type total manually i will type total as soon as you type total press enter automatically color will come after that i explain that how do you put the formula so i say equal and i click on this number 3 so he will take at quantity multiply by this and press enter and the formula will be dragged so this was the second and third benefit of converting your data into the table so what was the first benefit first benefit was if you press control shift t you get total and whenever you will filter you get only the total visible cells okay total of visible cells second point we saw when you add a column color comes automatically and when you put a formula formula is dragged automatically that was the third point and now we will go to the fourth sheet the name of the sheet you see what is the name of the sheet the name of the sheet is free spain can i request galaxy m31 to switch off the video if possible boss <laughs> m galaxy m31 please switch off your video my friend okay thank you so over here i have a fourth sheet where it is name as uh, the free spain now friend this is again a very interesting point you will really learn something new that why you should convert your data into the table so can i request lilavati to switch off the video please okay so that other people don't get distracted they can focus only on the screen yeah please so i will come on my data over here friends now you see this data how much data is there you have around 3200 records it's a big data not very big it's a medium size data okay now what happened friends you see this is your heading right customer age coupon payment products and everything now friends i am going down you see i am going down from here i am moving down okay when i go down do you see the heading row number 1 no right you can't see the heading because you have not done the freeze so when you go down now you don't know what is the heading this is price or quantity this is what this is what you don't know so normally what you do you do the freeze which i think you should be knowing this comes under the basic when i take a basic session excel i cover this so you put a cursor over here and you go to the view 
and uh, there is an option freeze. I'm not explaining you freeze. You know this. I'm explaining you something different. But those who don't know for them, I'm explaining. So you say freeze top row. So now when you will go down, friends, like this, do you see the row number one is not going up? Okay. Normally you do freeze. But now I say unfreeze. Now if you convert your data into the table, you don't have to do freeze. It takes heading automatically. Let me show you. I come over here and I convert a data into the table. So I am pressing again control T and I am pressing enter. That's all. Now you see everybody, I am going down and you observe the row number one. It will not move. I am going down over here. Do you see row number one? The heading, you see this heading? Number date, the heading ABCD has been converted into the column heading. So you don't have to do the freeze. This is a fourth benefit of converting your data into the table. So we, when we work in a company, any data you get from anywhere. If it's the flat data coming from top to down and has a header, just close your eyes, press control T and then start working on it. Because after pressing control T, you get lots of benefits. Okay. So this was the another benefit that the your first row gets automatically freeze. This point also I had not covered in my first webinar. These are some new new points I'm covering over here. Okay, friends. Uh, please tell me your voice is breaking, sir. Rameshwari. Okay, I will repeat it once again quickly. So this was your data. And we were saying when you go down, you can't see your heading row number one. So for that, what we have to do is you have to press control T and press enter. That's all. And now when you will go down over here, you can see the row number one has come on the top means you don't need to freeze. That's why all your data should be converted into the table. Yes. Okay. So yes, uh, Ragini. Uh, we are recording the video and uh, we will share it with you. Okay. Uh, after one day, uh, we will share it with you. Okay. We will give you the YouTube link. Now we will go to the more uh, advantage. Okay. So the first advantage we saw, it gives you total of only the visible cells. The data gets formatted automatically. The fourth point, we just saw that table header remains visible. And now the fifth point, Filters are automatically added to your data and this is a sixth point to get sum and average. Okay, this we had covered. So when I come over here in a next sheet friends and over here, if I press control T for table. Okay, you see automatically this filter icon has come. You don't have to do filter now. Automatically filter icon has come for you and it will be always there till the time you forcefully remove it. Whatever you do filter will not go. Unless and until you forcefully remove by pressing control shift L and the another benefit is this point I had covered in the last uh, first webinar. Those who were there will agree that if you press control shift T over here, you get all the option for the total. So when you click on the drop down over here, you will get the option count. You will get minimum. You will get maximum and everything you get on the drop down. Not only this, not only this, but if you click here, you here also you will get the sum. When you click over here, you will get the sum. So this is something very interesting uh, part. This is a price. So here you don't have to add the price. You never add the price. You take the maximum. So what is the maximum price or what is the minimum price? Okay. So this was another benefit of converting your data into the table. Then you have one more benefit over here that the point number eight that why you should convert your data into the dynamic table. So I have a data and I want to convert this into the dynamic table. Why? So that if I make a chart automatically it gets the size uh, range get increases. So I say control T and I press enter. Now on this, I'm creating a chart. I'm creating a chart. When you create a chart, what is the benefit? Now, whenever you will type over here, 
I think I should have explained this in a different way. Wait, I will say undo. This is my normal data friends. And I say alt F1 and I have created a chart. So I have a chart from Jan to June. Okay. Now if I type over here July, so I will not get that. If I say August, I will not get this. I had covered in the last session I get, but very quickly. So you don't get this. So how do we add this in the chart? So normally you come over here and then you come on the corner over here and then you drag it. So you get July and August both agree, but no, I will show you a different way. What you should do after convert, after you create a data, you should press control T convert your data into the control T and press enter. That's all. Now you create a chart on this. See, I'm pressing control T sorry, alt F1 to create a chart or you can go to the insert and there is an area charts. I click on a chart and over here I will select any chart. I gave any card design. Now you see August I type September. See automatically September will come in a chart. Wow. September has come and I say October. So the October has come. Got it. So whenever you will type data in a chart automatically it will come in a uh, whenever you type a data the chart automatically populates and he increases the range on his own shortcut to remove the table shortcut to remove the table there are two ways you can do it my friend okay so the first one is you have to right click on it okay you don't have a direct shortcut you have to go over here right click you press b over here and you say T over here. So here you get an option convert to range. So right click, press B and say V. So here is asking, do you want to convert the table to the normal range? We say yes, but give me two minutes. I will come on this point when I complete all the topic in the last part, I will show you how do you convert into the range. And there are two ways you want without color, with color, how you come to know. So lots of things will be coming in next more. 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so don't worry. I will cover. I have remembered. Okay? So I was saying that whenever you will add any of the data over here, automatically chart will take over here. This was the eighth benefit. And now we will move to the ninth benefit. And before ninth benefit here, I would like to tell you one more very, very interesting thing, which I will cover in this. So pay attention over here. You are on this sheet where you have a data. You have till 13th gen. Let's say if I wanted to insert a row. I want to insert a 14th gen data, for example. It means before the total, you want to insert a row. So Rameshwari, you had asked me the question for shortcut for inserting a row last time. So I had told you press control shift plus. And for deleting, it was control minus, right? But if it is a table Rameshwari, you don't have to do anything. You just have to put the cursor in the end over here and to insert a row after you put a cursor in the last row, you can just press a tab key. What you will press a tab key. Where is a tab key below your escape? You see your keyboard below that you have a see I'm pressing tab key. And you, I, I will press tab and you will see a row will insert. So I press a tab key. Wow, a new row has been inserted. And whatever data you want, you can just put it just for your idea. I'm just putting over here. And you see when I put over here, this also got changed. So tab is a shortcut to insert a row in the Excel. Okay. So this is again a very, very interesting thing which you should know. Okay. Now we will move to the another option over here. That is the ninth benefit of converting your data into the table. The ninth benefit is I will come over here and I'm inserting few columns over here. I have inserted few columns and now I say control T and I'm pressing enter. After pressing control T, I have inserted the column. Yeah, insert a column. Uh, again, insert column is uh, control shift plus. After this friends, if my manager tells me Ramzan, I want to see only the David Day data. I want to see only laptops record Dubai record. 
so again you have to do lots of time the filter now over here you can even add a slicer so i come over here and in insert there is an option slicer so i click on a slicer and over here i will take for example let's say of the city so i took the city slicer and i will just put it over here and i will make this and i will show you one more interesting example of this with charts little bit different because this point i had covered in the last session okay again i will come over here i go to the insert i click on a slicer and i say slicer of sales person again i took this over here and i will put it over here and let me change the color perfect done now whenever i wanted to see or my management wants to see the data so they will just click on dubai see i am clicking on dubai wow dubai data is changed i click on sharja sharja rasal khaima i say dubai in dubai i want to see ali data so dubai only ali data i want to see kumail data i wanted to see nancy data so just on a click of a button if you are seeing friends all your datas are populated this is really amazing trick last time also i had shown but last time i had shown in a different way those remember i had inserted the row above i have inserted the row above and over there i have inserted the slicer but now in this session i did differently i added a column on the left hand side and i have put the column over here so that your above row does not go waste and you get more data to see on the screen so in every my session you will get something new to do now your manager tells you hey haro can you show me something like this that i wanted to see a chart okay see how how you will do how you will use a pivot slicer and table and create one nice looking report your manager tells you i wanted to see all the sales of each product but i wanted to see each product sales city wise that i click on city and it should show me sales of each of the product and i also wanted to see the chart chart should change automatically so how do we do that so it's a simple way of doing friends and now pay attention i will show you something very interesting so we will use two three things now together okay so how do we use that we will use this way so i will come on this data some of you might be knowing the pivot so i will go very slowly i will first step i will go to insert and here there is a option pivot table i click on pivot table and you will say okay done you got the screen and in pivot table here are the columns and here are the different areas okay so i will take the i click on the product over here and i click on a sales over here that's all i will type product so i created the first report that is each product how much is the total sales after that what now the actual things start this i had not explained in my webinar okay vignesh is saying sir i have a doubt when i try to put data into the row column it shows as only date not as a year previous lecture you put date into the row column that one change into the year ah okay okay i got your point so vignesh why you know because you are using old version of excel my friend and i am using a latest version you are using excel 2007 so what is the question first i will reply to that and then again i will come on this point give me 2 minutes so over here friends the question is this he is saying ramzan i am going to the insert and i say pivot table okay this is the date column i am dragging under the row and sales i am dragging so you get over here year sale but another student is not getting year over here because in old version you will get date so what you have to do vignesh is you have to right click on this year you have to click on group right click on that date click on group and over here vignesh you will see a word years just say okay and your problem will be solved okay so i will again come back to my own topic if you are using 2013 no then it should come okay then i have to see your screen then that we will see separately okay i am using 2016 version praful 
what is the difference between pivot and slicer okay pivot is what you know uh, chandru you have a big data and you convert that into the summary report pivot is used to create a summary report from the big data you use a summary report we did last time only session uh, i think few days back on pivot table in detail we did for one hour and slicer is just a filter like you click on a button and it will happen i will show you now just give me one minute okay okay so where i was i was uh, over here i guess okay so i think i will do it once again people might have got forgot so i come over here in my interactive filter i'm on this data so my intention was to create a chart for my management which should show me each product what is the total sales and on a click of a button of ct it should show me sales of each of the product with the chart both things i need so how do we do that so the first step is you go to the insert we click on pivot table and i say okay after that i will click on product and you will click on sales this you many of you know so i'm not repeating this those who don't know basic then they have to learn pivot table i once again okay so i say product that after this friends i wanted to create a chart how you will create a chart who will tell me what is the shortcut for creating a chart let me see in the chat box quickly quickly tell me what is the shortcut for creating a chart i had explained this alt f1 very good very good vishesh lenovo pratiksha amazing lenny that's all very good so i will come over here and i will press alt f1 and you see my chart is ready okay so now i will not see the chat message thank you so much so i have press alt f1 on this summary data and my chart is ready over here okay after creating a chart i will go to the design and i will change any of this one okay let's say this i will do or let's say i just put right click add data label okay that's all now you pay attention friends over here what has happened i have created a chart but this shows each product chart but the sales of is of which city this is of sales of all the city or i wanted to see each person by sales so you see how you will not create 10 employees 10 charts and 10 different reports no what you can do you can go to the insert and there is a option slicer again i click on slicer and i say i want slicer of a sales person and i say okay and i will put it nicely over here either you put it over here or you can even arrange it on the top i think let me arrange on the top so you get more idea so i am inserting few uh, rows above okay and you see how i will set it on the top part okay just observe it i will take the sales and i will put it over here and i wanted to create like this now horizontal okay how do we do that we go to the option okay and first i will increase this like this okay i want till here and then i will say column 2 column 3 column 4 column 5 column 6 amazing and let move, move from the bottom not move but it's making it small and wow it becomes something amazing now even if you want multiple you can put multiple let's make it little small so that uh, you come to know something like this this is i think uh, looks good so now when you click on uh, abdul you have abdul sales if you have radhika radhika raj raj nancy nancy okay this is really interesting part in fact i can come over here and i can insert one more slicer over here let's say i wanted to insert a slicer for city so i put for city again i will come over here i will make two column and again i will come over here and i will just increase it let me change the color for this and let me change the color for this now whenever management wants to see whatever they can just click and they can get the chart this is really amazing you see i'm clicking i want to see in dubai kumail did how much sales so kumail sales is less for hard disk kumail why your sales is less ah laptop is selling more 
So this is a very interactive report which can be actually created for this. Okay. So this is the benefit for converting all this. Sir, we can use duplicate of pivot. Uh, yes, Jignesh, you can use a duplicate of pivot. Like uh, for example, are you saying this is my pivot? You want to create one more table of pivot like this on the same uh, uh, sheet? Are you trying to say that with Jignesh? Just tell me yes or no on this one. Okay, so uh, I will just say control A. I select this much. If you want to create a duplicate of this, you say copy and you can paste it over here. Yes, you can create a duplicate and then over here, over here, you can change the heading. Let's say if I don't want a product, I want payment wise. So you have another over here to this one. Okay. So we can use duplicate of pivot table of individual for every data. Yes, yes, yes. You can do that. You can do it means for each pivot. You can add a slicer. You can create them the different data. It's what the possible Jignesh. Yeah. Okay, friends. So this was all about converting your data into the dynamic table. So I will quickly go once again in the end and in last you will see uh, 36 minutes we have covered how we to convert data into the table so the first was control t control shift t but i have missed one point on which i am coming somebody had asked the question now friend this is your table you will say ramzan i wo i don't want table now khalas i want to convert this table into the normal range so first thing is you should know is this a table or no? So first, oh yes, with the color you come to know this is the table. The another is what you know how you will come to know this is a table. I will tell you. Okay. If you put the cursor inside the data, my cursor is inside the data. Let me show you on a smaller data so you quickly understand. Let's say this. This is my data. Okay. Please mute everybody or everybody. I have muted. So this is my data. When I come inside the data here, do you see the table tools? It means this is a table. If I click outside, you will not see this table tools. See, I click outside. You don't see table. It means this is not a table. First, with this you come to know. Okay, now this is my table. You will say, Ramzan, I don't need table. So now there are two options. First, do you want color and you don't want a table? First is that. The second is you don't want a color also and you don't want a table. The first is this way. I come on a table and you have to first step is go to the design. And in design, which is over here, you click on this drop down and over here you get an option none. You see this option none. Now I clicked on none. So all the color went. But remember, this is still a table. Only the color is gone, but it's still a table. Now you wanted to convert into the normal range. So you right click. You go to the table and there is option convert to range. So your data will, will become normal. What will happen if your data become normal? Then you can't do the filtering. You can't add the slicer. You can't get the total automatically. When you do the sum, all the totals will come. You, there will be no freeze of the heading. Remember, so I say convert and I say OK. Now your data has become normal, everybody. Got it? Okay. So Asutosh is asking if we create a table after that, VLOOKUP is working. Yes, yes, yes. VLOOKUP is working. Even chart will work, VLOOKUP will work, pivot will work. Everything will work. Okay. No issues. In fact, because of that, your VLOOKUP will become faster because you have converted into the table. And it becomes more speed in that. And in future, if you add more master data into the main master file, okay, VLOOKUP will fetch that also. Okay. Uh, Tripti, you want me to repeat the converting of a range uh, to the normal? Yeah. So I will say undo. So like this, we do Tripti. I put my cursor inside the data. You go to the design. You click on this drop down over here. And first is I click on the none. First, or you can do directly. You will say, no, Ramzan, I want a color. I want a color, but it should not be table. So you put the color. Don't remove color. Just right click. 
go to the table and say convert to range that's all and i say yes so now color is there but it is not mo no more table you see i click outside and inside i can't see the table features it means now it has been converted to the normal range but color remains okay yes rameshwari slicer is more useful option over here okay friends so this was all about the converting your data into the dynamic table so if you want quickly if you have a mobile with you now you can quickly remove your mobile and take the photo of this so that you have in one mobile what are the things what are the benefits of converting your data into the table <clears throat> kavita is asking great session thank you kavita can you explain how can we create a dashboard for multi dimensional analysis a uh, kavita this needs to be covered in detail to create a dashboard to create a summary report for that you have to use pivot table and for that we have already covered i think two days back we had a uh, a special session for one hour on pivot table where we spent on great good time on pivot table to create a dashboard on that we created a chart with slicer how to get percentage count how do you do grouping of dates what is the concept of refresh so uh, we ha huh, sorry vishesh it was not one hour it was around one hour one and a half hour session in fact we did on pivot table few days back so you should have attended that or in future we might plan some more sessions so in that you should take care okay thank you pragya okay friends so i think uh, this was sufficient for today so we took only one topic but we went into the detail yes prapul uh, uh, no last session video i have already shared i have not kept anything uh, pending i have shared you can see it or i can share you once again no problem okay friends can you take session on payroll on salary data sheet yes per uh, exclusive on payroll processing uh, pf calculating the pf provident fund pension calculation all things are done in excel friends if i will see if i have a schedule then surely we will plan something now to take a session on payroll we need only the hr people okay otherwise it will be very very difficult to explain other people who are in sales explain them the payroll they will say baba where i where i am going to use that so then we need a very specific group rameshwari where only hr people are there then i can go in detail uh, how do you create the payroll in the excel for more than 1000 people okay yeah so interesting session thank you so much many people have commented i have just now sir if possible could you please teach us how to do a conditional formatting in pivot table simple in after you do the pivot table you have to go to home you have to go to the conditional formatting and apply if you want a quick answer i can quickly show you but conditional formatting is again a 50 minute session which i take separately but now as you have asked how do you apply quickly i will show it to you don't worry so let's say i have this uh, sheet over here interactive sheet over here and i'm inserting a pivot table so her question was how do you apply conditional formatting on pivot table very simple but i will go very one point only not in detail so i have created a pivot table and i am creating over here let's say for example seat or each person wise i have created a, a sales this is my done now how do you apply conditional formatting you have lots of way let's say in this you will say okay ramzan i wanted to apply conditional formatting where all the sales are more than uh 500000 for example so i'll go to the conditional formatting and i say greater than greater than 500000 so whatever number you want you can just put it over here i say 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so this okay so these are all numbers all greater than so it will highlight it or if you wanted to insert something like this data bar you can highlight with the data bar you wanted to insert icon set icon set okay so these are the average number this is uh, this sales is not happened properly for mohammed and sabina nancy and radhika are doing well because arrow is going up so this is a very detailed session you just asked why i showed you uh, but for that we need a separate time okay okay lenovo i have replied sir 
where you share your previous video. I have shared it on YouTube, my friend. You can visit my channel and you will get it everything over there. Uh, please teach us SQL. SQL not yet planned. I know SQL, but uh, SQL has not been planned. So you are in MBA in HR, Rameshwari. So Rameshwari, we can plan something exclusively for HR groups. We will make a HR group. If I get more than 50 HRs, then we can do a session on HR payroll exclusive on that. Okay, we will discuss separately. Sir, can we have two Excel version in one laptop? <laughs> Technical question. This is Vishesh. Uh, I prefer no, only one version. But yes, you can have. You can put in two different drives. Like you have a C drive and you have a data while installing you can put it in two different drive and you can have two version of Excel in one laptop possible. And I need MIS reporting MIS reporting admin you can do I think admin is Manjula if I remember. Okay. <laughs> Correct Manjula this admin is Manjula. So yes sir. Yes, sir. Huh? yes sir. Okay. Okay. So we will do MIS reporting also. But for MIS mm -hmm. reporting, Manjula, I have a different advanced Excel course, uh, which mm -hmm. is this course, uh, this mm -hmm. advanced Excel training, where we covered MIS, mm -hmm. sum if, count if, sum if, count if formula, and that is a duration is 10 days. So we have a separate course for that because okay. it's a detailed session. It can't be done in 15, 20 or half an hour like this. Okay. 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 And so, um, payroll also. Sorry. Ha. Huh? Okay. Sure. So I will update yeah. you slowly, slowly in a group whenever we okay, will sir. plan this. Okay. So don't. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I am joining the webinar half of the, can I get recorded? Yes. I will put on a group, the recording. I am just checking the reply or if somebody has asked question. Manisha, you are also taking a se session on payroll. So I can see lots of interest for payroll and HR. So if I get number of HRs, good number of because there is there is one question mark. Uh, I guess uh, the number is wrong. Can you change that? It's like in fees. Ah uh, no no, Kubel. This I have put intentionally. I want oh. participant to let them know how much should I charge. Should be here over oh, okay. say one thousand, two thousand, or what? <laughs> that was a secret. So okay, so that I put intentionally. <laughs> Okay, so thank you. Share your channel. Yes, I will share my channel. Gargi Gupta. Is this Gargi Gupta my colleague of, uh, no, I think this. Gargi, are you my colleague of uh, Capgemini? No, right? Something different. Okay. Traffic light, Mohammed Asif. Sir, can you tell me how to find difference of data in two sheets? That we can do with the help of VLOOKUP. This is not the right time. We look up will take again half an hour, 40 minutes, but we can do with the help of we look up here. So teachers preparing MIS report. Yes, Jignesh, we are planning this advanced Excel training in that surely if I get sufficient number of nominations, then we will surely plan and we will do in detail and I will make you master in doing MIS just on a click. Please put on window in laptop. Put to window in laptop. Asutosh, I don't understand your question. Nandani says not only HR people, even accounts and finance people can learn. Okay. Huh. I think finance and account can also be a part of the payroll. I agree. Yes, Nandani. So if I get lots of messages, I am sure and I'm committing you. I will plan a session on the exclusively for the payroll for HR hundred percent in Excel. How do we do that? Okay. Uh, Temba, please send videos to mail address. It's very difficult Temba because I don't know the email address of many of the people. So I will post it in a WhatsApp group. Uh, Pragya, am I sir, I, sir, I already sent my mail address. Sir. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Then I will say. Please kindly, kindly drop in my mail address. Okay. okay. Whatever question is um, gone sir. Okay. Okay. What will be covered under the advanced Excel training? Advanced Excel. First, we start with the formatting. We take a pivot table. We take a if condition. How do you write multiple level of if? How do you use and and or condition? How do you use concatenate formula? We focus more on sum if, count if, sum if, count if because that is the main four formulas used for MIS reporting. 
okay we use network days formula we use macros recording and running not the programming so lots of interesting topics are there in advance i can share it on a group me to mis mis oh my god i can see three message from different people for mis now also can you share the details i would love to attend a session on data analysis that is a pivot table mis reporting bibhuti kumel make note many people are saying for mis so we should plan mis and payroll for our future courses no Mahmoud sure harun is ready for advanced excel training sure mohammad harun will let you know i am in fpna what is fpna no. have you have you have you given them the link for this uh, course advanced excel no 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 we we have not planned hey rajiv okay. can you tell what is fpna i didn't understood <laughs> rameshwar is interested in this also sir yeah, when will the advanced excel will start sir uh, uh we will start in next hopefully in one week's uh, time uh, we are uh, getting the re request and planning my schedule because i have other trainings also going on so it should get completed in next one week and then i will announce the date and everything okay sir sir my request is not on sunday sir please sir, the um, next uh, after that sir <laughs> okay okay and it is a more difficulty for me sir okay okay so mostly this session uh, the boss we will not only timing, have on sunday timing also should be the after eight sir acha in the even night you are saying okay Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Let me see how we can plan late in the night. Okay, around eight, eight thirty or nine. Or uh, eight to nine is a good time. <laughs> okay. I. Can I come? Come, please, fast. Come. Sorry. Can I do not detail? Uh, sorry. Credit analysis for Excel report. Okay, Jignesh. How to take screenshot in Excel? Any <laughs> shortcut? Any <laughs> very simple. On your keyboard or on a. Sir, pivot table is completed. Yeah, pivot table. We did three days back. It was a session, a ninety nine rupees. You didn't attended or what? Ninety nine rupees. It was. Ah, I I attended the uh, the three session also. Acha, no, that is what I did. Including today, including today. Ah, okay, okay. We did pivot table few days back. So Lenny, if you want to take a screenshot of Excel, it's very simple, my friend. On your keyboard, there is a print screen button. Okay, click on a print screen and you can take the print screen uh, screenshot. Yeah. advanced excel is useful admin topics would cover on this yes we are going to do that okay advanced excel target dates first or so we, we we have more session of pure table or it is completed no no we will have more session because these are the two groups i have other whatsapp groups for them also we are planning advanced excel i have a dubai group also where dubai people will be attending on pivot so we have different different peoples in different groups So pivot table will be there for that. So I will announce in our batch also in group one okay, and two. Sir. If some who has not attended can join, no problem. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Harish sir. is saying I am talking about statistic uh, statistical data analysis. Yes, you have a statistical functions over here when you go to the formula and uh, over here you get an option for example more function and statistical. What happens in statistical formulas? You know, Harish. i can explain count count if and everything but there are more statistical advanced formula for which people should have a base if they don't have a base it becomes very difficult but i will add some of the statistical formula exclusive for accounts and finance and all okay sir can you please give short note on excel vba i don't know about is what is the use of vba vba is visual basic application vba is visual basic application one is macro recording and running if you wanted to automate all your reports okay then we use a macros programming i also take session on macros programming you click on a button and all the uh, for example uh, reports will be automated and in that we use a programming with the name vb6 visual basic 6 okay so yeah supriya i'm coming on you before that jignesh is saying sir mis payroll financial analysis credit analysis okay <laughs> yes jignesh lots of things are there in excel i can uh, add some of this excel takes lot help preparing report on agree 
Supriya is saying, I need a shortcut keys and tricks for Excel. Can you share? Yes, uh, Supriya, you just pick me. I have a Excel shortcuts with me. In fact, I have an exclusive session for uh, uh, 200 rupees uh, for learning the Excel shortcuts, but not like control S for save, control P for print. This you all know. I will teach you those shortcuts which you don't know. I will show you this one. Wait, I, I hope you are able to see my screen. And over here, I have Excel uh, uh, reference material. And over here, I have material. And this is my shortcut key, Supriya. You can see this all are the shortcut keys on which I train my students. I train on them 40 Excel shortcuts. And this is a one hour session. And it is a sometime I charge different amounts for the sessions. So this is a short. Otherwise, you go to the Google and you get hundreds of shortcuts but these are the niche which you should learn if you work in corporates not everything okay otherwise go to google you will get hundreds of excel sheets yeah appreciate your way of explaining abdul majid and outstanding knowledge in all parts thanks for lending us time thank you so much abdul Maid. See you sometime in sir a please take session on uh, financial analysis financial and analysis <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will plan. I have everything in plan because now you all have just joined. Na? So this was our second second mm -hmm. session and you all are group. So now you will be okay. with us and slowly, slowly you will get everything. In fact, I will okay. macro session also, shortcut session also, MIS also, fair also, also, financial analysis also, exclusive for MIS also. We'll do everything. Slowly, slowly okay. we will. Okay. okay. Okay, friends. So I think now we should... Uh, close because it's exactly one hour to three four minutes is left and i think we should close the session oh i didn't stop the recording so i will quickly stop my recording over here and i says